Boris Johnson and others to say what's good for us and what's right for us should also be right for those people in Kashmir. And the fact that brute force has been used to put down demonstrators. It's like us demonstrating here today showing support to be surrounded by soldiers, 500,000 soldiers on the Indian side of Kashmir, and then to be shot at with pellets that have maimed hundreds of people. I've already heard that 70 people have been killed. You know, people talk about India being the world's largest democracy. That may be via voting, but actually democracy is not just about casting your votes, it's how it treats its citizens. But at the moment, people, an army that's killing its own citizens for me, is in breach of democracy, it's becoming a dictatorship. And I think the quicker the Indian government realises that, the better. I have seen on social media that there have been demonstrations in New Delhi, where actually individuals from, the, from India itself now are uncomfortable with what's happening in Kashmir. And I think we need to join forces with people like that across the religious divide. It's not a Muslim or Hindu thing or a Sikh thing. There are many people from different religious backgrounds in, in Kashmir, and I say each one of them has an equal right to say in that and what will happen in that country. So we will carry on the fight in this country. We will support anyone who will speak up for Kashmir. I am, was born in Kashmir, in the Pakistan side, so I care greatly for what happens in the, in the, in the land that I was born in. I will never stop campaigning on behalf of the people of Kashmir because they have equal rights just as we have in this country. And once again, thank you to all the organizers for today, and we will continue the fight. Thank you.